Hi everyone. Welcome to Vet Basics. I hope you all are doing good. This video is mainly for veterinary students who are just entering into clinical practice. In this video, I will show the commonly available needles and their uses. In the beginning, everyone will have doubt on using correct size needle to the correct size animal. So, let us have a basic idea about this. Each size needle has its own color. That means a particular size needle will be in particular color. That will not change. For example, if you take 20 gauge needle, that will be only in yellow color. Then coming to the number and size, they are indirectly proportionate. When the number is increasing, the size will be reduced. When the number is decreasing, the size will be increased. For example, if you take 16 gauge needle, the needle size will be so big. And if you take 26 gauge needle, it will be too small. Now we will see the needles one by one. First, let's start with the smaller size needle. This is 26 gauge needle. This is brown in color. This is commonly used to give intradermal injection. We can use this for the subconjunctival injection in small animals and for intramuscular injection in small pups and kittens. Then 24 gauge needle. This is light purple in color. This is commonly used in small animal practice for intramuscular and intravenous injection. In large animal, we can use this for subconjunctival injections and this is ideal needle for fine needle aspiration cytology studies. This is suitable for birds also. This is 23 gauge needle. We can use this for bigger dogs and kids. This is 22 gauge needle that is black in color. We commonly use this in our small animal practice as well as large animal practice. This can be used in blood collection in dogs, goats, kids and intramuscular injections can also be given to the goats, baby calf and bigger dogs. Then green color needle that is 21 gauge needle. This is very useful in large animal practice. We can use this needle for blood collection in horses, sheep, goat, young calf and we can use this for intravenous and intramuscular injections in calves, goat, sheep and foals. This is an ideal needle for intra-articular injection in horses cattle. In sheep and goat it is used for epidural injection. This is 20 gauge needle yellow in color. We commonly use this in our practice. This is suitable to give intramuscular and intravenous injection in horses. In calves, sheep, goat, we can use this to administer fluids. This is the ideal needle to give epidural in cattle, buffaloes and horses. This one is 19 gauge needle, slightly dull white. We can use this for intramuscular and intravenous injection in large animals. This is not too big or too small, very ideal to administer injection in large animals. Most of the water injections can be administered with this needle. We have to be very careful because we may get confused with the 16 gauge needle because that is also white in color but this is little dull that's all. Then next is 18 gauge needle which is pink in color. We commonly use this in large animal practice. This is a ideal needle to give any oil, drugs or vaccines or any suspension and it is ideal to give injection to a thick skinned cattle buffaloes finally 16 gauge needle which is white in color commonly this is used to administer more fluids in large animal practice hope i showed all the commonly used needles in our veterinary practice it is all a matter of a common sense and following ethics in our practice it is our duty to minimize the pain and damage to the tissue while injecting if you like this video please share it with your friends Thank you.